Okay, let's talk about the proper chipping technique. You'll notice I have a little line here and an angle into the ground. The biggest difference between chipping and putting is in the chipping stroke, you're going to have more of a descending blow into the back of the ball. The putting stroke is very low to the ground. The chipping stroke has to have more up and down. So we can hit the ball with a little more of a descending blow so we get loft and we get spin. So here's what we do. Here's how we change the technique. We're going to play the ball a little bit back towards your back foot in the stance. We're going to take our body and tilt our spine the opposite direction now. Before we talked about putting the spine in this kind of angle, now we need to put the spine in a reverse kind of angle so that my right shoulder is a little higher than my left. And you'll see when I do that, it puts my weight on my left foot. So the purpose being, by doing that, allows me to, when I swing the club back, the club comes off the ground pretty steeply. So let me do a little dem demonstration to show you. Again, ball back in your stance, feet a little close together because it's a short shot. My weight should be leaning left, shoulders tilted left, and nice little what I call a putting stroke. Notice the hands are slightly still inside your left thigh, and the stroke would look like this. Okay, let's try another one. As a reminder, I'm going to make sure we play the ball back in the stance, feet fairly close together, handle end of the club should always be forward to the inside of your left thigh. We want to lean our weight left, we want our right shoulder higher than the left shoulder so that we hit the ball with a descending blow. And very important, just like in all the short game shots, is to get a good line to the hole. Just like when you're putting, to get that good line to the hole up in your mind's eye. Let's try it again. Here we go. Weight left, straight back, straight through, keeping that line in mind. Okay, let's have a recap. Remember the five most common errors that I've talked about are grip. Remember I said grip is the most important thing to learn in golf. A good grip will hit the ball straight because that will control the club face. Important to get a good grip. Use the marks on your glove like I showed you. Grip, extremely important, and grip pressure. The other thing was release. Remember, if you're a slicer, good grip, good grip pressure, and learn to release the club properly to allow the club face to rotate closed coming through the ball. The other error we talked about is aim. People tend to aim incorrectly. Aiming is a learned habit. You have to learn how to aim. Then we talked about the posture. Posture determines where the club bottoms out to the ground. Important to have good posture so you have good balance. So work on your posture. And last but not least, remember what I said, the quickest way to low scores over the short game. So use those techniques we talked about in chipping. And remember, practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. So you want to make sure you're practicing the right things. Good luck with your golf game.